This is episode 42 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, May 3rd, 2021. Today we try four craft beers from Colorado's Outer Range Brewing Company. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. Still wireless. Yep. We got tech guy Steve with some new technology. Super yeah. tech. We're like, we don't even have no wires. There's no strings attached here. No nope. strings attached. We're just a couple of guys drinking beers. Yeah. No, it's like just exactly like that. <laughs> he walked in with a backpack today. A little like, quicker setup today, today huh? Yeah, a little lighter. Yeah. I got to take a picture of all this stuff I don't have to carry around anymore. Yeah, yeah. it's like a whole duffel bag full. Yep. Well, great. We're in good shape now. We're in good hands with... Steve, Tech Steve guy, tech whatever guy. his name is, whatever, you make it up as you go. He was Charlie. <laughs> he was Charlie. <laughs> All right. What do, you, uh, what do you got today, Charlie? We got some outer range. We're going to Colorado again. So we're going to jump down the outer range rabbit hole. We're going to start off with uh, Gray's Peak, this uh, above sea uh, double, in, double Indian pale ale. And this is, like I said, from outer range. Leave life below. This is a super cool. It's got a bunch of uh, peaks uh, of the mountain peaks and stuff in Colorado. These are not very high. Well, that one's fourteen thousand. That's pretty high, but uh, got a lot of fourteen thousand foot peaks in uh, Colorado, huh? Yeah. Well, they're all these couple fourteens, three fourteens. That's pretty high. But uh, anyways, we're gonna pop this baby open and see how she flies. Like see, the above see a double IPA coming in at 7.5%. The, uh, the hops are El Dorado, Mosaic, Azaka. They say tasting notes of berry, pear, tangerines. Thank you, you like the sound of that pour? Yeah. Pretty cool. I like the smell of that. Ooh, it smells pretty tasty. Mm. See my little sign, bro? I see that. Little podcraft sign. Pretty cool. That's a really cool can with the, um, where the, uh, like survey, uh, geological survey. peak. Uh, well, I think there's like survey, uh, research things up on top of those peaks up there in Colorado, but, uh, could be wrong. I've been up to 13 or 14,000 feet up there. Yeah. I, I, I don't think I have in Colorado, but, uh, I certainly haven't. California. We were just talking about you collapsing. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> on exactly. the trail. So that's a, that's a great IPA. It's, um, you're kind of orange, just like I can't really see the color in here, but the um, kind of a little darker orange. But there's yeah. a you definitely get um, a lot of a lot of a lot of flavors of that that citrus in there. Almost a hazy look, almost, but orangier, orange color, not uh, hazy color. Yeah, that's juicy. That's a, that's a good beer. It's a good drinker. They um, they make some good beers there. I'm I'm gonna have to be honest, El Dorado. Mosaic and Azaka. Yeah, I don't know if I taste any pear in there, but I definitely taste citrus. Yeah, definitely citrus. Smooth. It's really smooth. It is. That's a really good beer. It just has sort of a melon smell to it. You def mm. definitely smell the citrus. Mm. I would do that again. Well, I think I got one more of those. I think I did that once before. Maybe two. You think? So you think this one's pretty regularly canned? Um, you know, if you look at like their, um, let's see, probably not. There's only like a little less than 300 check-ins of it. Oh, wow. But if you go to their, um, if you go to Outer Range's website, you can order a lot of beers. They have a lot of a lot of different beers on on hand. Um, Shipping wise, I think it's just to go. I don't think up, there's uh, a. Just a little pickup action. Yeah, it's uh, and it's a tiny little, uh, Frisco, Colorado is a tiny little town. and uh, But it's kind of like a booming. It's just outside of Vail, Colorado. So where all the skiing and celebrities are. I'm going out there next year. Are you? <laughs> Speaking of celebrities and uh, <laughs> yeah, hanging out you. <laughs> for, Chris, for Christmas, I'm going. The week after Christmas. You're going to Vail? No, no, we're... Uh, we're going where the celebrities don't hang out. We're going to Frisco. <laughs> Not a bad place to go, to be honest with you. Yeah, I would. I would like that. It's been I, actually, I couldn't there. even tell you. I couldn't even tell you the name of the city is. But I do. I do think it's. Uh, let's give me just. Is it close second. to Glenwood Springs. 
Could be. I think it's all it's all closer than I am right now. Yeah. Well, that's for sure. So you you liked it, Steve? Yeah, it was great. I drink it again. Good. Finish I, it I, off I, for I'd us, would you? <laughs> yeah, I certainly would uh, would go after that again as well. Um, yeah, Breckenridge, Copper Mountain, right right in between those two, huh? Hmm. Silverthorn, maybe that's where we're. Keystone's right there. Just make so that's where we're planning on going skiing. Just for a couple of days, we're going out there. Uh, I think the week after Christmas, uh, meeting uh, Marilyn and the siblings. Awesome. Yeah. It's a go. She's a go. To go. To go. Yep. Speaking of Marilyn, she came through with a uh, little modern times gift card for me yesterday for my what? birthday. That's nice, mom. That, yeah. Way yeah. to hook us up. And a, I mean uh, you up. Ex- yeah, exactly. <laughs> and a Chemex uh, <laughs> coffee, um, like a you know that that Chemex coffee uh-huh. pourer. Oh, okay. Um, she really? sent me one of those as well. Chemex. Wow, that's a. And I get a. It's a tasty brand or a pretty good brand there. Not yeah, tasty, so I, I'm excited to try that. Like it's, uh, you know, I I I tried one for the first time. I did a pour over, and when we were, you know, not to. Uh, when we were in Hawaii last week, or, uh, or a couple weeks ago, or whatever, um, they, I did a pour over, and it came in a Chemex, and it was phenomenal. It was like really, really smooth. So I'm excited to to try that next to the uh, the regular pour over. Yeah, mm-hmm. I use. we'll see. We'll What's see the what Chemex version? Um, I guess it was. It's probably just a little older. It's uh, it's like the one glass jar. It's got a super thick paper filter that you put in there. So like that paper filter is supposed to ensure that you don't get any type of. Uh, um, it's like triple. Filter. Yeah, you don't want to do that. What's that? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> New rules. Yeah. Triple filter. So well, you're going to you're gonna have to check me out on that because... We'll see how it... It's super thick paper, so you're not supposed to get any anything extra. Any oils? That's yeah, the good yep. stuff, though. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it is. That's why a French press is so good. And Charlie, that's some of the uh, the complaints that people have online. You know, they the say, hey, you know, like some of the... You might want to... Um, you know, some fresher, like heavier, you know, like some, some more flavorful coffees. You might lose some of those, uh, but we'll find out. Yeah. But thanks to Marilyn for that. Expert, she came through. Expert is going to just take care of business now. He's going to be the next coffee. We're going to find out. All right. Well, let's roll to number two. That was really boys. good. I'm a fan of that, Charlie. Yep. It's the number one beer so far. Okay. Sure this one here is uh, Leave a Trail Double Dry Hopped Indian Pale Ale mm. from Outer Range again. Getting it right. You just there. broke everybody's ears. I didn't hear a thing. Yeah, well, <laughs> I did. <laughs> Anywho, this, uh, like I said, one of their probably basic beers that uh, they're making out there. They just do a, you know, bang up job on, mm, on these things. So this Leave a Trail, I think, is probably a little closer to um, what they what they normally put out. There's uh, of this beer, there's 1,700 check-ins, and if you look at the regular, the non-double dry hop, there's another 500 wow. uh, check-ins. So a lot more check-ins of of those beers. Uh, they um, they list this as an IPA at seven percent, uh, double dry hopped IPA, uh, Mosaic and Hallertal, middle fruit. Never heard that Tasting way. notes: a stone fruit, mango, and white grapes. I uh, I like this one a little better than the other one. What do you think? Oh, you just lost your fuzzy, Steve. We got it's problems. all right. Okay, we'll just right. roll with it. All right. Just can't have nice things, is what Charlie's <laughs> telling me. Yeah, we might just do without them. I don't know. They're a little fuzzy. They look like caterpillars on yeah. top of the microphone there. So that's really good. So it, it, great color there. Um, super smooth. Mm. You can definitely taste that that double dry hop in there. A little hoppier. Yeah. Oh, like wow. that. yeah. Um, pretty mm. good. I could drink this quite often, actually. It's got a really nice citrus nose on it. Mm. Man, really creamy, I think, too. Mm-hmm. Huh? Well, I think, that, you know, to be honest with you, I think these might be slightly hazy because they they gave me some that uh, the West Coast are not hazies. And I gave those to you because you're the West Coast king. And these... These ones, I think, were a little bit of hazy ones, so better for me. That's a really good beer. Mm. I'm a fan. Yeah, hey, these guys, uh, yeah, I'm sold. I'm sold. If you're near, stop by. Fill up your suitcase and bring some home. They just had a bunch of other releases uh, this week, so I don't know what they were. I just saw them. little Instagram action, but uh, what about beers? What would you guys have this week? I had a... Uh, um, a stout yesterday, really? celebration of my 
It's weird. I had a stout too. Another, uh, <laughs> another, another spin around the globe. Mm. A little Horace yeah. activity. Yeah, I'm trying to. Uh, it's part, you know, part of getting old. Just the memory goes. Uh, push the boundaries. <laughs> as right. it was. Uh, right. Horace Aged Ales and, and Toppling Goliath. Uh, um, that was super good, good yeah. stout. The that uh, um, yeah, was phenomenal. It was. It was a big old bottle too. Vanilla, chocolate, coffee, almonds. Almonds. Nice mm. little. Combo. It was all right. It was all right. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. It was really good. It was. Uh, I'm a fan. It's nice to have a nice stout. I haven't been. Uh, I haven't been hitting any stouts recently, so that was a nice, uh, nice change up. Yeah, you've been laying off the stouts. Yeah, I think so. Drinking yeah. all IPAs, West Coast. Been more of that. I think there's a resurgence of it. Yeah, some seltzers. Seltz. That's some, for I'll save that for our show number two, the some, seltzer episode. Some truly <laughs> banging down some truly, huh? That's funny. Uh, Steve, what'd you have? Uh, I splurged a little bit this week. I went out Exciting. and got a shipment from Humble Sea. All right. So um, West Coast Pilsner nice. called Bruce Krillis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good That's name. Awesome. <laughs> so I posted that it, you know any beer company that makes a beer where they put Bruce Willis from Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> they, that brewery has the best uh, uh, best beer names in the game. Yeah. Like I, all of them like sea related or. Yeah. So Ocean. Really, really smooth beer. It's really good. Pilsner, West Coast. That's it? A little, little hoppy. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm sharing. One? Well, you can check out my Instagram. Oh, I have okay. more on there. That's what I'll check out. You just want to tell me. What, what, you, uh, what was the best beer you had, Charlie? I believe it was Kook. I am your fogger <laughs> <laughs> from Humble Sea. Other than that stout we had yesterday, that was pretty good. Kook, I am your fogger. <laughs> Best name yet. Yeah, that's a great name. Best name yet. They do some, uh, they do Harry Potter. Uh, yep. Because they have a, they have a, a quad that is, is called Quippa and it's like, 10.9% or 11% maybe even. It's a IPA, mm -hmm. double IPA, but it's, no, I guess quad IPA. And it's yeah super yeah, tasty. Yeah, one of the one, one of the other beers was Snape's on a plane. Yeah, yeah. Snape's on a plane. How was that? I haven't had it yet. <laughs> yeah. They, um, that, I think they came funny. out for their, like, I, their fourth. I think it's a double IPA. Is so that was a, yeah. a waiting round. Gosh, yeah. they um That's probably my favorite beer. Our favorite brewery. They... Right now. They're just cranking out great beers. And what is it? What was that one this week that they were they released? They're having another release tomorrow. Mm -hmm. They uh, so every week <laughs> they do. Yeah, they do a they do a Thursday pub, public release and a Saturday. Is it Saturday public release? I don't know, but they're having um, one tomorrow for sure. They are. Yeah, they have the. Um, they're doing a. a so yeah, so Thursday's release was the Harry Fogger and the Deathly Shallows. Uh, and then they have a, um, they actually had a West Coast, uh, uh, David Bodie, the West yeah. Coast Pale Ale <laughs> with Citra and Cashmere. Uh, I, I did place crazy. an order. I was, I was like, man, I, I love their West Coast Pale Ales. That's probably my favorite style of beer. beer. Just as I like the, you know, the lower ABV of like the, the West Coast, like that thing comes in at five, you know, 5.6%, mm -hmm. uh, like a, like a hoppy, light, crisp. They do a phenomenal job with that style. I didn't order any. I just ordered that, that hair. That Harry Fogger triple. You only got one? I got that Harry Fogger, and then I got. Uh, oh, you did I get ordered the... something else. Well, what's this? What's the uh, bottle they got released on <clears throat> tomorrow? With the uh, raspberries? Yeah, I ordered that one as that well. That was, really good. that was the other one that I ordered. <laughs> when you said you were like, "Hey, only you like order me this if if you order anything," I was like, "Yeah, I'll order it. Get a little raspberry. If I could get some raspberry, I'm yeah. in." <laughs> so like, uh, I think it's a. Uh, the saison with no, I, I don't know what it looks fantastic. To take a peek, the color it looks is really beautiful. Good. Wild ale, maybe. Yeah, that's what I think. If I remember correctly, what do they call it again? Let's find out. It's the I just saw the picture and went good photo. <laughs> that almost looks drinkable in the picture. So. Oh, Mirage Atlas, a barrel aged farmhouse ale with raspberries. There you mm. go. That sounds good. Yeah, no, yeah. It, it, uh, I, I was excited about it. I, it's uh, got food. <laughs> I'm in. Yeah, so we'll uh, pop that, that soon enough. Okay, well, we're going to...
dance on into the next one here. Man, you're going the right direction, Charlie. Yeah. We're uh, we're going. Uh, this is uh, the bright side. It's a kettle sour, and to be truthful, we tasted this one last night. We did because we- it was Chris's. Wait a minute, birthday. It was. It was. Happy birthday, Dan. Happy birthday. We're not going to sing. Yep. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, Uh-oh. we, uh, um, it, like, so when we were having dinner, um, I think it was Megan was like, uh, we're, we were getting ready to sing happy birthday. And Megan asked Siri, or not, not Siri, but uh, Alexa. It was Alexa. To give us a hand with singing happy uh, birthday, which she, uh, right. like that was, you know, in she the end. all right? The, yeah, I mean, I think in the end, that was the only person singing. <laughs> Happy birthday. Might have been a good thing. It's like, it's like COVID all, you know, like, oh, here's my little nutshell. Cute. Only Alexa. Okay, we got some me. fruity, fruity smelling on this. What would you, you say was in this again? Ah, oh, gosh. The color is beautiful. It's like a, a blood orange or maybe a, a grapefruit blood orange type. Not rich dark, but reddish. So the bright side is a is a kettle sour coming in at six point four percent. Passion fruit, raspberries, white peaches is what they uh, ah the white peaches on there. yeah. I wonder where they got those white peaches from. I think they're the cascade. What are they? Uh, Palisades. Palisades. That's it. Colorado. I was say Cascades. Palisades, Colorado is a farming community over in, over there, just at the base of the, the Rocky Mountains before you go up the hill, and it's just a incredible farming community and they have some of the best peaches i've ever tasted in my life i really like this this is super good i mean not too sour just fruity enough and here again it's on the passion pool side of a bit of the flavor i think there's more um i don't really i don't know that i taste like the raspberries don't really stand out there's that sweetness i think with the that kind of ties them into that into the peaches there. Well, that's what I'm going to hold every. Gosh, it smells really peachy though. Sour beer up to is the Passion Pool test. It's one of your faves, huh, Charlie? Oh gosh, that's so good. And they just re-released it again, you know. I saw that. So it's available. They changed the can, but the beer is still good, allegedly. No, it's got a it's got a real soury, fruity, sour smell. Yeah, it oh. certainly does. Like I think, oh, man, I really I really like it. Mm-hmm. We liked it last night. That's why we drank it today. It wouldn't have been any good. Kind of tart, a little, little yeah. sweet, but not not overly sweet, not overly tart. Tart Leander. I mean, I think that uh, I like the combination of that that um, that kind of raspberry and, and uh, peaches, the, the way that those play together. Mm-hmm. Love the color. Love the taste. Love the tartness. And love yeah, the I don't sour. understand. Like, a lot of people are beating that beer up online. What do they know? I don't know. Amateurs yeah. probably never even drank sours. All they drank is See, pilsners all their life. If you're looking for a pilsner, this might not be the beer. But no, I this think, is not uh, going to be your calling here. I'm liking it though. I think I have uh, one or two more of those, maybe. Maybe one. I can't remember. Too many to keep track of. Mm-mm-mm. Too many beer related plans this weekend, Charlie? Um, do I? Yeah. I got, um, I think I'm starting off playing golf tomorrow morning, but that doesn't have anything to do with beer because it's six o'clock. I'm not going to start drinking beers at six. Sorry, guys. And then um, you and I are supposed to make a run up to uh, Mostra for a beer release, but you get a free cup of coffee regardless. I'm a fan. You can you can get me up to Mostra for a free cup of coffee, <laughs> and then uh, sixteen ounce cup too. Yeah, for me, not that little. It'd be a uh, twelve ounce, but you. Uh, <laughs> but the, then uh, we're gonna come back home, and uh, Burning Beard has got a delinquent uh, thing going on. Hmm. It's their anniversary, right? Their fifth anniversary. Oh, is, it? Oh, is that what it yeah, is? Yeah. I thought it was just a delinquent. Oh, I thought it was. I, I thought it was. Uh, they were celebrating their anniversary, but they're only doing, you know, previous years they've done like a bigger party. Yeah. But it's this year, you know, with the whole COVID piece, like their their anniversary party is just delinquents. Limited. Mm. Plus Limited. ones. Yep, plus uh, ones. delinquents plus one. That's and cool. my, my connection ended up uh, deciding he'd uh, go on a date this weekend. So I don't, uh, I don't have a ticket. Wow. He, uh, I think if you show outside. up... <laughs> Please let us. I in. think if you show up, we could get you in. Might be able to. Yeah. 
We could probably work that out. Have Maybe old... I can get a a a, a, a compressed pass. Yeah, I said <laughs> I said that to Jacob. You need a media pass. Yeah, and you know what? I'll make you up one. Yeah, exactly. Just a sign. Do <laughs> some yarn around your neck. Right. Media. Right. Uh, can, does that come with a fake mustache? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put it on the sign. You, I'll periferate the edges for you so you can tear it out. Yeah, it better come with like a derby hat and a fake mustache or something, you know. I've seen this guy before. He was in here eating burgers the other day. No, but uh, Jacob and I were talking about that. So he's taking his dad. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going with Josh. And uh, you're just going to have to show up. Here, I should buy a... Uh delinquent membership me and Steve will show up <laughs> that'd be great okay i'm here for my membership as well but sir there's only three weeks left of the membership <laughs> <laughs> whatever cheers that's what i would no, say I'm, I'm excited for them man they're um i'm just a huge fan of what they got going on I, you know we we stopped out there and, and had that beer phenomenal yeah beer they got other burger. ones jacob said they had other ones available that were that we didn't even try well i tried to but you were unwilling I wasn't playing nice that no, day. You were not. You were grumpy, and but I, although you did chomp down a, a burger and some fries, a phenomenal burger. Yeah, that was. Okay, we're on to uh, after potty. All right. Here what is that. it? We got here, Charlie. Woo! This smells like a little coffee. Uh, this is called Donut Timing Imperial Stout from Out of Range again. So uh, down timing, they, um, the Russian Imperial Stout comes in at 10%. It's, not, don't, out, it's not donut timing? What was, what was I reading? Oh, it is down. You timing. were just thinking about all the adjuncts that you'd like your stout to have. <laughs> Some maple donuts in there. The, um, so yeah, so they don't give a whole lot of... Um, it just the Russian Imperial Stout. Um, excited to give her, a, give her a try. No adjuncts. So what's the big deal between a, a Russian Stout and like a... Irish like a pastry stout, stout or um, yeah. well, I think the majority of what we do is like a pastry stout, right? It smells like, like there's there. coffee in there. Do you it smell smells like just coffee? super roasty to me, like a lot of malt. Oh, well, maybe that's it then. Yeah, I'm just not used to them with a bunch of without a bunch of adjuncts. Yep, it does smell roasty, but it smells like roasted coffee. I don't know. Maybe it's just me and my moster nose. I like the smell. It's not sweet. Oh, wow, that's, that's just sure. man. Super roasty. Um, Ooh. That's a good beer, though. Wow. Super impressed with that. And that is a roasty, malty beer. Yeah. That's what I guess Imperial Stouts are. Mm -hmm. That's really good. It's, it's, there's no sweetness to it at mm -hmm. all. Maybe, mm, maybe on the back end there at the final, gets a little uh, swirly in the back of the tongue. Not bad. So it says, uh, you know, when, when I'll link this, uh, this homebrew article, which kind of talks about different types of stouts, right? Mm -hmm. it, it talks about like, uh, drier Irish stouts or this is the style when most people, when, when you think of a stout, that's what people think of is like an Irish stout, like a Guinness, right? right? Where, uh, it's non-sweet and standard stout. It's just a drier flavor than an English or a U.S. version, um, and then you go to an imperial stout, also dubbed the the Russian imperial stout, mm. uh, right here. You know the imperial stout's another subcategory. Said um, uh, it was in, inspired by the Baltic porter. I thought I think we kind of yeah. mentioned yeah, this one time about, before, yeah. but it was like you know depending on where you'd be, it was. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but it's a high alcohol content, at least nine percent. Uh, one of the darkest beers available. It is uh, dark. But they, that's the recipe sure. from 1865 points that the Imperial Stout have, had an average uh, original gravity of, of 1.101, exceeded 10 pounds of hops per barrel. Woo. That suggests just those those two combinations mm -hmm. suggest that it'd be like greater than 10% right. of yeah. ABV. So the so there's a method to this madness. Yeah, I mean, for not having any any adjuncts, it's it's a really good tasting beer. Oh wow, yeah, me. for sure. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, label too because it's just houses yeah but there's no there's that's where you spend your downtime i guess yeah on your house yeah down cabin. yeah because I, I i could see how you could read it wrong so down timing imperial stuff i wasn't looking clearly yeah at it, it does look like donut though i would say. <laughs> 
It's, it's a really bad font for uh, those with letters. Yeah, well, it's, it's just a tiny little label too. I mean, yeah. the, the lettering on there is super small. It's a, it's kind of curved around. Mm -hmm. But uh, I like the word. I think I would have named it Donut Timing. <laughs> donut Timing. Yeah. So the, uh, what do you think of those beers? Which was your favorite? Like, oh, let's do it. Let's do it like we did last week. Break it down. You know, the first three beers. What would be your favorite? On the first three, I was actually just going to go with the stout as my favorite. Just Were you going to go with the yeah, stout? Yeah, just because it's so it's so much like a true stout, like a, what I would think a true stout would do. Yeah, right. And it was Which like we, the other ones. I mean, the, the, I'm not taking anything away from the other ones, but it was like this, wow, that was this that on was nitro. Really good. <laughs> right. This on nitro would be amazing. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's good enough, but I mean it's no, it's super good, super roasty. I, I really like it's like mm -hmm. what you think of like like a stout. And that's you know what I. I think like a lot of the stouts that that we do drink here, like the pastry stouts, or like the stout that we had last week, that was so chock full of mm -hmm. adjuncts right, and yeah. like, <laughs> like crazy amounts of cereal like, and whatnot. Like, like this uh, is what I think of like when I think of stout. well, the description for the last one was bigger than the show notes would allow in yeah. Apple <laughs> iTunes just on the single beer. You had to put <laughs> on a separate page. <laughs> I just had to say star star adjunct plus or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was loaded. Right. Yeah. Where this is just straight. Yeah. Um, so this will be pretty easy to fit on there. Mm -hmm. No, that's a that's a really good beer. I'm a, I'm a fan of that. So you're going with the stout. Let me hear it, Chris. Man, I think um, my favorite beer was beer number two, the double dry hop yeah. mm -hmm. um, IPA. It was phenomenal. It was super. Um, it was really really tasty. And I think if I you know if I put if I was to to break them down, that would be my favorite of the first three. And I think my favorite of the show. Um, I mean, it's a really good stout. Like I really I like that. But I mean, I think like Charlie, like I, uh, big fan of the adjuncts. Yeah, vanilla in there. Just even even a little almond or vanilla in this would have been crazy good. Just a little, you know, just enough to get that taste in there. Anyway, it's it's great by itself. That's the way it should. They made it. They're no, it's great. I'm sure, they're happy with it. We drank it. We liked it. Uh, I'm gonna go with the sour, the kettle sour for mine. And uh, runner up would would be the uh, stout. There you go. Just you know, just me saying that but but uh, the other two they're good i mean those are drinkers yeah, okay. yeah. yeah good drinkers i mean it's just yeah we take so many beers that it's just like you know there's a lot of commonality with those pails you know mm -hmm. run through we could we could stack them up you know 15 or 20 and they'd all we'd find one that we really liked yeah but then they would they would all kind of blend together after a while i mean sure. it's just everybody's trying to do their own thing so but I thought these were two ex good examples of uh, out of range beer, and I always wanted to go there. So now I have, and you're the one that's going to have to. go I feel like I was there as well. <laughs> I ran in and ran out of there so fast. I was on my way to Glenwood Springs, but uh, it all worked out. Everything. These are good beers. I was happy to get them and happy to drink them. That's for Dag on sure. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the uh, the sour and then the stout. Very well. No, that was uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm, I'm certainly a fan of uh, Outer Range. Yeah, Look they're forward good stuff. To, uh, to going there again. Soon. 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 Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Man, you hit that hard. <laughs> Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only. 
in compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.